Hello, my name is Robert. Don't need to tell me your name, Joel's done plenty of that. Uh, I've gathered a group of like-minded drivers together here at the festival, and I hoped you might help us attract more. We're called Drift Club, you see. We like to... Well, <laughs> you can probably guess. Some like the rush, but I'm rather partial to the engineering, I must say. Why don't you take my old Nissan 240 out and see which you enjoy better? The best thing to do, really, is go into your car settings and switch off the traction control. It might be a button, or it might need a pair of pliers and a pair of tape, but it must be done. Traction is the natural enemy of drifting. about power to weight ratios. Accelerator. It's more of an art form, really. I'll let you work it out. <laughs> Fabulous! Drift Clubbers, take note. There's more where this came from. started adding some flags to bits of road that are really quite good for drifting. A great bit of practice for drift driving. We've had a drift club meeting and decided to keep score of how our members do on all these routes. Make it a bit of a game, you see? This is the Subaru BRZ for boxer engine, rear wheel drive, and the zenith of drifting technology. I'm also quite partial to acronyms. Why don't you take a nice morning drive? And if you want to throw the back end out along the way, that'd be all right with me. Machine is capable of more. 
And so are you. the drift club ladder for eager new drivers to try and beat. I prefer they didn't, but you know how they get. This computer games have made some competitive, I think. Good news. Drift club membership is climbing steadily thanks to you. As soon as I get the membership cards and name badges ready, you'll be the first to know. I'd like this to be known as an inclusive club. You don't need a Japanese performance machine to throw around. An American performance machine will do very nicely too. This route is quite lengthy, so you'll need a good bit of forward as well as sideways. Turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Force equals mass times acceleration minus friction. Drifting is all mathematics, you see, I do like mathematics. Duh. might say it's as easy as braking on the way into the turn to make the back lively. This shifts weight onto the front of the car, increasing grip, and reducing weight on the rear wheels. Me. 
meters. Turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Well, you certainly can't do that with engineering alone. meters. Turn left. Turn left. Apply a bit of acceleration, then steer. And Robert is your father's brother. There's a nice spot on the way up to Edinburgh the Drift Club's been eyeing up. I think you've earned the right to have first crack and show off a little, what you reckon? I've thrown on new high-grip front tyres, tuned the throttle response in the computer and lowered it on firm springs. Well, if you get a show off, and so do I. I've put in a route down to the old rail yard. I think you'll see what I'm getting at. Rubber's warm, let's keep going, shall we? Just a cheeky little detour down the side. <laughs> Outstanding. Now let's really shred those tires. Well, off you go, eh? No rush, do Drift Club proud. I'm really chuffed Joel persuaded you to front up our little van. I think it's just the thing we needed. If we really want to be taken seriously, we need a bit of a personality to lead the way. A nice one. Anyway, no more said about that. Onwards and upwards, eh? We'll take a longer drift drive this time. Show Drift Clubbers the skills and technical challenges involved in covering that sort of distance. 98 Sylvia K, 2.6 litre, inline six, and the full Rocket Bunny Boss kit. I might have got a little carried away here, but I was sure you wouldn't mind. 
Remember when I talked about too much power? This is too much power. You really shouldn't need the flooring. Watch the rear. It's slippy. If it comes out, you're using too much power. In 400 meters, turn right. about power to weight ratios. Friction is what everyone wants to see. Not actual friction, of course, because that's an invisible force. There's a way to see an invisible force. What you can see, however, is clouds of smoke from tires starting to burn at 121.11 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit for those who prefer... Drifting up hell is quite a skill. I'll admit I'm useless at it, but you're going to show Drift Club it can be done, and I've found just the spot for it. And just the car. Borrowed this from Jay Min at the festival. Nice young fella, if a little excitable. Practically flung the keys at me when I said I'd be handing it over to you. Here we go. A nice technical drive on mixed road surfaces. I do love the technical ones.
balance is key. Steer and counter steer. Enough throttle to push the power slide, enough brake to hold your grip. You know, I really should be writing these bits of wisdom down somewhere. That machine is capable of more, and so are you. traction loss, burning power and still relying on momentum to carry you through. Though I'm sure you're taking all this into account already. Clubbers, take note. There's more where this came from. Now, some people claim that you have to use rear wheel drive cars to drift. That is simply not true. Some of the greatest proponents of functional oversteering, or drifting if you prefer, come from Stage Rally. And some of them predate Mr. Takahashi. Some also claim that Japanese or American cars are the only options for functional oversteer. This is also not true. Here at Drift Club, we find drift machines in all sorts of odd places. Sweden, for instance. This is the Volvo 242 Turbo Evolution, featuring a few little adjustments of my own. I think you'll find it more than adequate. Courses lead out, though, uh... You're welcome to have a little fun on the way.
neighbor now. Let's see some passion. Come on. I like the backhand work particularly. There, you see, this is just my point. People think drifting is simply losing control of the vehicle, when in fact, you are delicately balancing traction loss with grip. It's a carefully controlled. Loss of control is what I'm saying. Joel tells me there are drift clubs popping up all over the continent. Berlin, Paris, Amsterdam. I didn't start those ones. Did you start those ones? Should I send them the newsletter? <clears throat> In any case, meet the classic 1969 Mustang Boss. An incredible machine. And that was before they let yours truly under the hood. These long country drives are perfect for spreading drift club far and wide. So if you can make your way to Broadway for me, please. with Kunimitsu Takahashi. He invented drifting because he was winning all of his races and he wanted a bit of a challenge. That's what 
I like to see. Now I would like to see more, please. There you have it. Drifting is about entertainment, not just engineering. Some members of our club are a little too fixated on the technical details of drifting, if you ask me. Easy now, coming up on my favourite sequence, the technical bit, with lots of tight turns. Well, you certainly can't do that with engineering alone. 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. In 400 meters, Turn right. Turn right. Well now, the spirit of Mr. Takahashi is alive and well in Horizon Drift Club. Well, the spirit of the robber, Glenn, is more than happy endlessly fiddling with his engine and suspension. Thank you very much. You seem to enjoy your trip through Edinburgh, so we should try that again. Traffic is always light in the morning, so you should have the roads practically to yourself. And I'd like to send you in this. Third gen RX-7 sequential twin turbochargers on a front engine rear wheel configuration. It's rather good, if you like that sort of thing. You should know the way, though of course you're welcome to use the sat nav. Sorry, I'm not sure why I said that. Traffic is generally light in the mornings, but I've had a friend on the council close down the roads for us, so it really won't be an issue. Sorry, uh, no, I'm not sure why I said that either. Rubber's warm, let's keep going, shall we?
Edinburgh Drift, if I might be allowed a little joke at the expense of the film industry. I think we've done it. Everyone is talking about Drift Club. It's been on the radio, and I've been hearing the clubs cropping up all over the place. To celebrate it, though, I've got something really spectacular. We are standing in the presence of the Shelby Cobra 427. In my opinion, as close to heaven as you'll ever drive. This one belongs to Ms. Dawson, who is something of a petrol head, if I may be so bold, and a real connoisseur of British automobiles. And you will be driving it up to the Horizon Festival and into the Drift Circle in the middle of the festival. I must say, I'm quite jealous. about power to weight ratios. discussion with the other members of the club we'd like to extend you personal membership for life mind of drift club <laughs> <laughs> 